Hi everyone. Welcome to Morning Devotions. Whew, a little out of breath. It's 34 degrees, overcast again. The birds sound great though this morning. Maybe it'll clear up. Ooh, we got some birds over here on our feeder. I can't believe that. It's got some seeds in it. Y'all saw me put them in there the other day. I just don't keep much in it when it's rainy because it ruins them. There was two birds. One just took off. I guess they got scared. Look here, y'all. There's the hawk. It's landing right up there in that tree. Amazing. Oh, I'm glad I got out here just now. We got to see the hawk. The other day it was making the noise they make while it was flying, flying around. It's awesome. You ought to look back and watch that. Wow. It's up there in the tree. I noticed this past summer when the... Uh, hawk was around the birds wouldn't go to the feeder at all there's my cauliflower tied up Let's see what happens maybe it'll come back around and look better than it did wow I just can't get over that hawk that's not the biggest one though y'all there's one bigger than that a lot bigger I don't know if that's a female and the male is bigger obviously probably but the biggest one's not around very often yeah there's a blue jay or something just landed up there usually they hang hang out where they are trying to run them off supposed to come this morning later on uh, something like 10 30 and bring Logan's equipment for his CPAP and oxygen everybody's looking really good there he goes wonder where he's going to oh almost fell <laughs> Oh, he's way across the street over there in that tree. Y'all probably can't see it from here. It's way over there in that tree. Well, at least we got a couple shots of him. Or her. Oh, I see my paper. Let's see, we're going to have Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. So, I'm going to show y'all, when I get in and stuff, I'll show y'all what the, uh, the a preview of the things that he will be reviewing I forgot about that and I also have a uh, movie review of Terminator the new Terminator movie paper before it blows away or somebody grabs it And then I guess we'll do add time tomorrow. Or I'll do add time tomorrow. The birds sound good this morning. If it was a little bit sunny, they'd probably really be going wild. They'd be happy. It's still over there. You can't see it. It looks like in the top of that tree over there. It looks like a squirrel nest or something. That's that, That's the hawk, though, sitting there. We should come back over this way, or her. Him or her. All right. Well, all we lack now is the train. I'd like to hear the train. I 
just listen to the birds a little bit and maybe the train will come around. I'm going to go get some more coffee. <laughs>
right, let's go inside, everyone. All right, everyone, I'm back inside. For dinner tonight, last night I did fix the Fiesta beef pie. You can see the uh, Cook With Me video on the Color Me, I mean, uh, on the Color Me Happy Club, that's our other club, on the Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. You can see the recipe and I believe, no, it's the video, actually. I don't think I just put the recipe on there. But here's what it looked like last night, and that's a fruit cup. Uh, I think it was uh, peaches or something with strawberry jello, wheat, some of those with meals when we don't have anything to go with something or whatever. But that is delicious, y'all. We, we about ate all of it. We about ate the whole thing. <laughs> so it was really good. And as you can see, this is on the Color Me Happy Club. I mean, this is on the Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. You can see both clubs right there at the top. So check them out, join. There's the, uh, I got some Krispy Kreme donuts yesterday. They had the Valentine's donuts. And uh, well, I have the app and everything, but I didn't have my phone with me. So I guess they didn't give, they wouldn't give me the free one. I was supposed to get a free one. Psh, whatever. I've been there a million times. Y'all know I've been there a bunch of times. So they, they actually know us there and they, they're like, no, you know, if you have an app, you know, I said, yeah, I've got it. And she's like, well, <laughs> anyway, I didn't, I didn't plan anything. Uh, it was another hectic day yesterday and I didn't, I forgot to put anything out. So chances are tonight we'll probably we'll either have something frozen or uh the pizza we got from aldi um where is that thing hold on let's see if it's right here i'll show you yeah there it is i saw the back of it already rising crush supreme they're really good, y'all. It was two seventy-five. They actually they were two sixty-nine a while back, um, so they went up a little bit. They're really good, though. I would say it's all, it's about as good as a DiGiorno. I really it, it's almost like they make them or something because they're really really good and they're a lot like them. Now, what else? What else? Well, I pressed something. Okay. Um, so yesterday, I don't think I'm going to eat anything this morning. I got too many things to go over. Uh, oh, I know I need my, ta my, my notebook. Hold on. I'm sorry. So we rented the movie yesterday. Terminator. Terminator. And it was, it was good. Uh, it's Terminator uh, Dark Fate is the name of the movie. And right, you know, like at the start of the movie, and it's typical with the other ones too, you'll see like uh, two robots slash people, uh, this ball of light appears, and then they, it spits them out, uh, you know, onto the ground. And uh, they never have clothes at first. It doesn't show them, you know, really naked or anything. But, I mean, uh, they immediately get clothes, of course, from somewhere. The first person, basically, about they see. <laughs> so they know what to do. But uh, these, two, these two robots, one is a woman... And one is a, a man. And the man is the bad guy. And the woman is the one that's supposed to help. So they start chasing each other. And the man wants to kill the girl. Obviously. Uh, the man robot is like indestructible. And the, the woman one seems to be a different type of robot. And uh, on in it, it's just a little bit, a much older Linda Hamilton, uh, you know, joins the 
movie or joins it. This and uh, she is, you know, she's there to help the woman and the there's a the girl like a teenager. She's here, there to help them escape, uh, to get away from the mean robot. So they they start they get away for a while and then Arnold the when Arnold comes into it he's been living in a cabin way out in the woods and he's got like a family and stuff but he's a robot <laughs> and one of the funniest things I one of the funniest things in it that I th thought was said is Linda Hamilton says to Arnold they're sitting out outside talking and naturally Arnold you know as the Terminator killed her son, Linda Hamilton's son. His family doesn't know he's a robot. <laughs> and Linda says to him, doesn't your wife wonder why you weigh 400 pounds? <laughs> and that just hit me funny. It tickled me to death. And then there were some other things said. But... You know, I don't want to give too much of it away, you know, but then Arnold is obviously involved from that that point on. And uh, it was really good. Uh, would I watch it again? Yes, I'd watch it again. And I gave it four and a half stars. Like I said, it's hard to get five. And, but, uh, you know, it's got violence in it. Uh, I guess probably everybody knows Terminator, though, and everything by now. So, uh, you know, I think it was a good movie. So that's where I'm coming from on that. Hold on a minute. Logan needs help, I think. Okay, got Logan situated. Yes, it's a very good movie. I would uh, I would recommend it. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you whether you want your kids to watch all that, you know. But um, it's on TV everywhere you look. Can't get away from it. So, let's see. Uh, here's the stuff that Logan's going to be trying tonight. This is an off-brand of Trisket. Sunny Select. I don't know who. Superstore Industries. Whatever that is. And we got that one at uh, Grocery Outlet. And this one we got at Grocery Outlet too. We're going to do these Open Nature Pita Chips with Garden Herbs. I don't know if this one's like gluten free or anything like that. We'll have to look into it. I don't think it is. Okay, this is the one I the new find yesterday at the Aldi that they're excited about trying. It's Clancy's Popcorn Dill Pickle Flavor. And let's keep it organized here. This uh, one I found also, Clancy's Poppin' Chocolate Peanut Butter Snack Mix. It's a combination of sweet and salty favorites, mini peanut butter cups, peanut butter candy gems, pretzels, and chocolate drizzled popcorn. That one. We're just gonna be trying these Starburst gummies. The uh, soft and chewy tropical nerds rope. This package. They're in a little bit, you know, individual 90 calorie packs, which is, I kind of, I like this because I can give this to Logan and he knows that's, you know, what's in there is what he gets versus of taking it out of a big bag or something. Well, all of us uh, tend to overeat, I think, when you take it out of a big, you know, a big bag. <laughs> so I don't think the popcorn is not, not really an issue maybe, but you know, when you're eating certain things, it is, but these I think would be good. Mini Nut Thins Hint of Sea Salt. And he's going to be trying this Nissan, Nissan Chow Mein Kung Pao Chicken Flavor Chow Mein Noodles, Roasted Chili, Carrots, and Bok Choy with a Savory Kung Pao Sauce. And um, I believe I got this at Dollar Tree. Yeah. And the gummy, the Starburst gummies. I got the Nerd Rope at Grocery Outlet. And this Nut Thins was given to me by our sister-in-law. 
So, yeah. I don't think it says spicy or whatever, but uh, lots of times these aren't really that spicy. So, he'll let you know. So, I hope y'all tune in to Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews this evening. Check out the Color Me Happy Club on Facebook and my Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. They're all doing, they're both doing great, growing every day. So, we got a lot of good recipes and stuff on there if you're looking for something for dinner on the cooking club. So, uh, like I said, I probably will have the pizza tonight because we got them coming over with Logan's equipment and stuff and no telling what else. I missed my appointment for my B12 shot. I didn't even... They didn't, I didn't get one of those calls where they say, press one if you are going to, you know, uh, you have to check it to see if you're going, you know, and I never got a call or either I wasn't near my phone or something and maybe it went to voicemail and I didn't see it. Who knows? Anyway, I missed that, which I desperately need. They make me feel good for better for, you know, several days, probably four or five days. They don't last forever. But anyway... I appreciate y'all so much. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Watch us tonight on Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.